Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Place Final Fantasy 3. Today we're heading south to Kazas and look for Ark. I mean, I don't think we were specifically told to come down here, but yeah, we are. Hey Ark, how's it going? Talk from talk to him from the front, and then appear from behind him and scare the crap out of him. <laughs> ah! Ark, it's me, Luneth. Don't be afraid. Why do you run off on your own? What are you trying to prove, anyways? Let me go with you, Luneth. I want to show everyone that I'm not a weakling. I did manage to come here all by myself. You'll take me with you, Luneth, right, won't you? I mean, getting here is not exactly hard. The enemies outside deal like no damage if you're fully equipped. Alright, if that's what you want. Ark has joined the party. To be fair... We, we, obviously, he was going to join the party because, like, he's in the intro. I think he's on the cover. He might be on the cover. Um, but it's kind of really irresponsible of us, right? We don't know if this guy can defend himself. We're his friend, sure, but... And he can. He's literally the same strength as Lunith. Um, now, you could be higher level. They don't, they don't scale to your level at all. So, like, Ark's going to be... 18 experience points higher level than Ark. Now, you might have noticed the HP is different. Just because two characters share the same class doesn't mean their HP is going to be the same. Their stats and MP are going to be the same, but their HP is slightly going to be different. The way HP is formulated for level ups is it's like they take their vitality, their level, and then a random number. Like, a, like, from one to something, it, it scales based on where you are in your leveling. Like, it's going to be different for level 10 to level 19 compared to, like, level 30 to level 40. It's... There's a way to get everyone to uh, 9,999 HP. I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> like, at all. Because I, I that ain't just... That's, that ain't me, dog. But if you want to worry about it, don't worry. There's plenty of, like, guides that can, uh... I can show you how to do that. By the way, Mithril Helm, just sitting here in the tree. This uh, this thing's actually quite dope. <laughs> it's uh, fairly strong compared to what we have right now. Like, three points strong. It's four times the strength of this leather calf. Told you it was strong, right? Can we zoom in? Ah, uh, we can't zoom in all the way there. There is another item here. Sadly, we can't see it. Oh, there it is! Oh, we just got it in time. It's a staff. It's for white mages and I think black mages. Spoiler, those are going to be classes. Where the hell is it? There it is. Zeus's Wrath. It's another battle item you can use. Um, save it? I mean, you can use it. It's not too, too bad. Uh, let's see. We want to go in... Is that where we want to go in first? Oh, is... Yeah, I think there's one in here. This is a blacksmith's house that we're not going to have to worry about. There it is. It's another potion. Game just hands them out like candy. You say anything interesting? Ah, he's talking about mithril rings, because uh, that's how you break this curse, apparently. Oh, he wouldn't work unless his daughter saved. Well, wow, that's, you know, kind of irresponsible. If you knew that making a mithril ring and would save everyone, and you could make it, but you just didn't because you didn't know your daughter was not safe, like, not safe or something. I mean, come on, dog, really? You're gonna put a whole village's life at risk because you don't know if your daughter's home or not? Howdy there! Since the name, I'm from Canaan, but I've been stuck here ever since Nell Valley got blocked by a giant rock. On top of that, I got a curse cast on me along with these other folks. Ain't that a trip and a, and a half? <laughs> Lunith, we have to do something to help these people. Say, if I let you my airship, do you lads think you could help me and these others, uh, other saps? From what I hear, the curse can be dispelled through the power of a mithril ring. Unfortunately, we seem to be all out of mithril rings here. Even if we could get the mithril, Taka the smith has been turned into a ghost himself, and his daughter, the apprentice, has gone missing. My airship's hidden in the desert west of here. Use it to find a way to live the curse. Sweet, so we're gonna get a airship? Like, second episode of the Let's Play? Sounds good to me. Think we got everything in here in terms of treasure. Well, there's more treasure, we just can't get it right now. 
Uh, the stores are useless. You can't buy anything from the ghosts for some reason. I'd imagine they would be like, just take the weapons and help us, please. Like, we're ghosts. Now, to get to that airship, we want to go in here. Sid's airship. Hello. Eek! Who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This is Sid's airship, and he's letting us use it. Raised in Kazas by the mithril smith, smith Taka, whose rigorous training led her to run away from home. Again. Uh, it's Refia or Rafia? I think it's Refia. I'm Refia, and I'll have you know that my father and I forged the parts for this airship back in Kazas. Kazas. So that means you're the blacksmith's daughter? You have to help us make a mithril ring. Yes, uh, wait, yeah, uh, yes, that's the only way we'll be able to lift the curse for Ka on Kazas. I can't. I can't make mithril rings. I didn't study that far. I didn't want to. Swell. I don't think Sid's gonna going to be particularly happy about that news. Wait, I know where the, we can find a ring. My father forged a mithril ring for King uh, Sassoon a long time ago, so he should still have it. Let me go with you. I can't make mithril rings, but I want to help my father and the people of Kazas. Kazas. I'm gonna keep messing that up, aren't I? Ark, I gotta figure out a better voice for you, man. You kind of sound like a... a subdued Luneth, which I guess you kind of are. Um, let's see. I could do, like, really nerdy, like... I think she could come with us, Luneth. <sighs> Me too. Slacking off saved her from the curse, so maybe that luck might rub off on us. Hey, that's not funny! Ruffia, join the party. Or Ruffia. Sure. Should've named her something like Amy. Now, she is level 3 as well, and she actually has higher HP than... Ark. So yeah, she has the same experience as Ark. What am I gonna give her? I'm gonna give her a bronze glove for now. She'll eventually get another one. We don't have any bronze bracers yet. We get one more, I think. Okay, so we have our first airship. And it doesn't go over mountains, so... <laughs> Yay! We got an airship that can fly in the general area. We can go back to Ur, hail up if need be. Uh, if you go over here, actually, I, no, yeah, if you come down here, there's like a new set of monsters compared to over there. They're not much stronger and they don't give that much H, uh, XP in comparison. They give like four points. Just land the ship on the castle's doorway. Castle Sassoon. A terrible curse has befallen the people of Castle Sassoon while I was gone. Only the power of the Mithril Ring may save them, I'm told. But Kazas is suffering from the same fate as Sassoon. I must do something, but where will I find a Mithril Ring? I'm the daughter of the blacksmith of Kazas. The king must still have the ring for my father made him. We come to borrow the king's Mithril Ring to save Kazas. Will you help let us through? An audience with the king. Yes, I believe I can arrange that. Come, I'll be waiting in the throne room. By the end of this Let's Play, all three guys are gonna have the same voice. They're gonna sound exactly the same. Now, before we go to the throne room, let's take a couple of pit, uh, pit stops and completely loot this place. They're all ghosts here too. You can talk to them, they all have like a little extra bit of information like this is a Jin's curse. We didn't know that. I'm pretty sure the D is silent. So, it's not the Jin, it's just Jin. We can rest here, right? Yeah. I don't think we need to. No. Alright, let's go and loot the place. I think we can just go in. No, we can't go in from here. Kronos, you silly man. You gotta go up one. And then you gotta instantly take a right through that door. And by door, I mean that crack in the wall. Grab this. Get a chest of a thousand gil. And another one! That's not bad, right? Money kind of flows like water in this game. Like this water, in fact. Though it's not really flow. Oh, no, 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 it's flowing. Just out of that angel statue. Uh, yeah, money, money comes fast. Now, 
things can start costing a lot if you like buy a lot of consumables or if you are just wasteful buying weapons you don't need but you know you need every weapon right I do grab this notice that crack in the wall over there and get another shield that we're never gonna use and blizzard that's our first well no that's our second black magic spell next to sleep let's give that to arc not to spoil anything actually while we're at it we might as well give the cure spell to Luneth because why not you know we can use it three times and if we use it completely we can take it off him and give it to someone else that's not casting magic so yeah at this point we have six free cures because I can use it on Luneth and then I can give it to Refia and then she can use it we also just got another bronze knuckles so let's give that to her she now causes the most damage go Refia is that the name of that one NPC in Final Fantasy Tactics tactics I feel like it is it has been a while since I have played Final Fantasy Tactics. So I might just be wrong. You know, hashtag, I might just be wrong. Slogan of the Let's Play. I hope not. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all the treasure we can get down there. There are two towers we can go to, but we're gonna go up here and talk to this guy first. You don't want to go to the the left tower right now with without coming up here because they'll hurt you there. You might you'll be fine, I think, probably, but you don't really want to chance it with the current party. So the Jin's cast has befallen us all. I am no exception. Sire, these younglings have come seeking the Mithra Ring to counter the curse. Ah, uh, I am the same age as them, yes, but they are younglings and I am not. The Mithril Ring? You seek to use its power to banish the Jinn once again? I would grant you this boon. However, my daughter holds the ring, and she went missing shortly before the curse was cast upon us. If the princess holds the ring, the Jinn may have taken her. If it is so, I fear for my precious Sarah. The Jinn must have taken her to the cave to the north. Don't worry, sir. We'll get her back. Sire, I would like to ask you for your leave to accompany these brave souls to the sealed cave and rescue Lady Sarah. A loyal soldier of uh, King Sassoon's army, he narrowly escaped the Jinn's curse. His prime, his prime concern is finding the missing Princess Sarah. His name is Ignis, and he has discovered a new recipe. You have my leave, Ignis, unless there are any objections. No, I don't want him. Of course not, his sword is worth twice that of these two. Uh, bullcrap? He has the same stats. Now nah, that's not fair, but I agree having one of the king's men with us would help us a lot. Ignis has joined the party. There is a secret passage in the sealed cave. Search for the skeleton key. I'm counting on you and your friends, Ignis. Banish the Jinn and save us all! No? Why'd you say Skeleton Key so weirdly? Yeah, you're doing it again. Stop doing that. Just tell me there's a skeleton who is the key in the cave. Like, look for the skeleton. It's the key to opening the way. But I'm gonna say it, like, weirdly so, you know, just to confuse you a little bit. Because I'm a dick. They might call me King Sassoon, but I'm King Dick here. Anyways, let's go here. Ignis is one level higher than us. Good job, Iggy Pop. Uh, you can have this dagger. And that knife. You're you're the highest level, but the weakest party member. Go, go you. Now, we want to go to the right tower first. One, there's no random encounters here. Two, there's some stuff we can get that will actually make uh, Iggy a little bit better. Um, there's no long swords anymore, but... You know, oh well. There are arrows. Holy arrows, in fact. And those are going to be useful. Now, or, those are going to be... Yeah, those are going to be useful. I think I think I said there, those are going to come in useful. That's not right. Uh, but yeah, no, the, the holy arrows are going to be very useful in the sailed cave. Because we're going to be going up against a lot of undead. And there's the bow for those arrows. 
Now, am I gonna equip those holy arrows right now? No, I'm gonna equip the wood ones. So we'll go here, grab the bow, and grab the wooden arrows. Now, that's slightly less damage, but we can put him in the back row now. And since he is a higher level, I might take the cure and put him on that, but spoilers, we're gonna be getting another cure in the near future, so it's not that big of a deal if we don't get it right now or put it on him right now. Uh, we could go back and buy that Poisona that we didn't get last time. Uh, if we go up here, we can, you know, go on the upper parts of the barrier. There's, there's no reason to do that. I don't think there's a reason to do that. No, there's no reason to do that. Okay, so, in the West Tower, there's enemy encounters! Am I auto-battling? I hope not. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I am, but I do actually don't care if I auto-battle. Yeah, just auto-battle. Uh, these guys are gonna give a lot of experience points in comparison to what we've been seeing. They're not that hard. They do survive more than one turn. Um, if I had Holy Arrows on, they would be pretty much killed instantly by uh, Iggy, but I wanna save those for the cave. We got 50 experience points, and that's like just a guaranteed level up for Lunith there. We'll, we'll probably gain a few levels doing this, uh, this tower. Okay, and this is why I bought the antidotes earlier, because these zombies can poison you with their attacks. Kind of a dick move, you're not wrong. Might as well use our cure here. That should be enough. Doesn't get uh, Ruffy up to max, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, everyone's past level 4 now, I guess. Iggy just gained a level 2, level 5. I'm gonna stop by Ur before we go to the Seal Caves to restore everyone's health anyways. So, I don't mind using spells here. And finding new enemies! Uh, yeah, so it's like using spells here to cure. If I had the poisonous spell, that'd be better. I should put the holy arrows on him. We're gonna be getting more, and it's very unlikely that I'll be using all the arrows in the upcoming area. Now, I'm not using Blizzard right now because I. Th there is a, you know, there is something in this area that's gonna take a little bit of time to kill, and I wanna use the Blizzard spell for that. Got another wooden arrow, and holy arrows, yes. So we should have like, I think, 30 or 40 arrows. Also, those big wall or sailing flower things with the eyes, they can cast blind. Thankfully, they missed. They did a party-wide blind attack, and I was like, oh, why, why are you gonna do that? Why do you hate me? Um, I'm gonna quickly cure everyone, then I'm gonna remove this, and give it to Ignis. Just in case, I don't think I'll need it. But you never know. The chest contained a white slayer, but it's a trap! All right, so, we wanna turn off auto battle real fast, go back up here, go down to equipment, take long sword, and equip the white slayer. I know, right? Convenient that you can get that in battle. Then I'm gonna have Ark cast Blizzard, you attack, you attack. I don't think it's weak to holy, so it shouldn't matter. But it is flying, and bow is air elemental, so it will cause extra damage to flying. I think that's how it works. Yeah, because all, I think all bows and lances are air elemental, so it will do damage to flying creatures. I'm surprised you're alive, to be quite honest. You missed, Ruffia? Good job, Iggy. much experience, but some. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna go back to Ur. I'm probably gonna be a little higher level because I'm gonna walk out of this place. I mean, I don't have a choice. I have to walk out of this place. I'm gonna buy Poisona. I'll probably put it on Iggy. Um, I might buy some more eye drops, but I don't think that's actually gonna be a problem in the cave. And I don't think I need to stock up on anything else. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like below if you're not subscribed yet. When you head to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.